There it goes. It didn't like the Wi-Fi. It didn't like the Wi-Fi. How are we doing, everybody? So let's get a couple people on here. I need a sound check. I did. I put a microphone on the back of this. We're going to test it, see if we like it. I can always pull it off in two seconds. How you doing, Cindy? All right. So everybody, I need a sound check first, and then I need to know where you're, uh, where you're watching from. That's awesome. Then I'm going to show you around a little bit. Hey, what's up? Who's, who's monitoring today? Kayla? I Lisa? think Kayla is. Hi, Kayla. All right. Sound check. Sound is good. Is it perfect? So I have a little microphone mounted on the back of this, this stick or whatever you call it. So we're going to give that a try. Dan, what's going on? All right. Sound is good. Watching from Fort Wayne. Okay. Awesome. Hey, Susan. All right. So, Susan, I'm going to show you, you'll, you'll appreciate this, what we've got going on here. So, if you guys want a, a sneak peek of where Mary's waiting patiently, she's right there. What is the water at? 96. 96. It's nice. Okay, so check it out. Oh, that's the only, if I touch it, okay. So, we got Captain Wade, look at him. He's literally just sitting there staring mm -hmm. at me. Mary, the captain. And it's a little different in here, right? So let's see, we got nine people on. Do, 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 do. Chris, what's going on? How are you, man? Yeah, it has been a while. All right, so check it out. So today's all about the fitness, and you know that's near and dear to our hearts. So I kind of wanted to show you guys, you know, today's about reinvigorating your fitness program uh, if you have one. So uh, I'm pitching a captain only Facebook Live for the next one. I, you know what? He'd be all right with that. He's got this whole place. He just loves it. So I want to talk about the fitness stuff. And, and you know, none of us, and especially, you know, like our, our group of customers, we don't have a lot of kids in here. And, you know, Mary and I are certainly not kids. You know, none of us are getting younger. And it's, it's become more important to maintain health and fitness than ever. Uh, obviously, and we know more than we've ever known in the history of, of all things, of all information. And this is sort of the gist of, of today, but I wanted to show you what we do, and I realize that our situation is, is non-typical, but, you know, all this stuff, I mean, obviously, the, you know, the swim spa setup is, look at him, Captain, you are freaking handsome. But this is, this is what we do, and now all this stuff, this is all us. You know, we store this stuff here, and I want to talk about the fitness uh, in one second, but what's going on here, these are all our toys, and this is a new mini showroom that's, that's underway. So we've got two 7.2s, those are two Twilights. You've got a 240 in the corner, of course you've got a 240 right here. Ocho Rios SE, this is a 110 plug-in. Then of course a, the, the Balance 7, the most popular hot tub ever, and then this crazy LSX 900 over here in the corner and it is just massive okay so if you guys have hot tub specific stuff we're gonna have more and more opportunity to to do hot tub stuff than ever before okay which is pretty awesome but we realize that we're spoiled and our situation is is weird and non-typical but this is you know this is all stuff that we've put you know our own our own cash into and this is the stuff that we have you know we don't like to do cardio at the gym we go to the gym which is a half a mile from here and then we come back here and we do our own cardio so this is mary's bike on the on the trainer which i have one too uh, i don't really use mine so i took it off the trainer in fact uh, we we hooked up someone who was going to put that trainer to good use so we've got a, an elliptical here and these are commercial grade and we spend a lot of money on these things but it makes it much more enjoyable. Of course, you got a treadmill, then you got a stair mill, and then the bike. And it's, you know, sometimes, and then of course, obviously the swim spa. So let me swing this around. You know, there's no one right thing that's right for fitness or for you necessarily. So if someone just says, I'm gonna run every day, well, what if you get injured? What if you just need a, a mental break from it? So we do all these different things so that this is always fresh. And this, the sort of scary part of all this is that, you know, last week or two weeks ago, I had a little simple surgery. It wasn't anything bad. So, you know, 
I had a, a, a Mo surgery and it was a basal cell carcinoma. It just, it was big. So it wasn't that it was uh, terribly dangerous in any way, but, and it's certainly not melanoma, which I'm so thankful for, but it ended up being a little bit more impactful and a little bit larger with more stitches than we anticipated. We only get one life, we only get one body, and this is the whole reason Master Spas is in existence, is that well-being, and some of it is, is whether it's stress relief, whether it's physical fitness, no matter what it is you're getting out of your product, whether it's a swim spa, a hot tub, I don't care if it's the tiniest, you know, San Miguel 110 plug-in, absolutely fabulous. You know, you're, you're decompressing, you're de-stressing all the time. Captain, you're gonna take good care of us. <laughs> Mary, do you hear him? <laughs> so you want to have all this stuff now is the time it's springtime we should be feeling good Every, the weather is finally starting to break we need to eat right we need, Captain you are killing us here kid okay come on you know he's gonna go crazy I took that squeaker away from him he's gonna find another one and then he's gonna go crazy so you want to take care of yourself this is the only body the only life that we get okay uh, while we're here on this earth and we want to take good care of it. So that comes in all these different forms of exercise, you know, in, in, in trying to not stress too much about things, trying to, you know, a lot of us have stressful lives. So you want to get in your hot tub, you want to decompress, you want to get in your swim spa. I realize it's, it's a lot of fun in the sun to hang out and have a good time. And I don't want to diminish that. Today we're talking about fitness and wellness. Okay. So it's important. We only get one shot through this world. This is the only body we're going to get. We need to take good care of it, okay? And, and I think all of us know some crazy examples of, you know, people who maybe could be doing a little bit more for themselves to take good care of themselves. Okay, so this is about self-love. What do you think? Great. So I'm going to pass this to Mary. You got a little tour of what's going on here. Um, we've got, actually, I'll, I'll swing that around one more time from this vantage point. What are you lurking around like a shark? He's getting big. So all these bare walls, we've got all the banners. So you can see them over here. All these banners coming, all up top will all be bannered. All, every, basically every spot you see will all be banners. We've got five more hot tubs coming. So right now we only have, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got five more. They're gonna go over here where the car is and uh, really fill this place up should be pretty spectacular. So I know everyone always talks about install questions. Let's do some fitness stuff today and it doesn't necessarily, it's warm in here. It doesn't necessarily have to be just about how to use your swim spot. If you guys, Mary, Mary has a master's degree in nutrition. If you have questions of, on taking good care of yourself, fire away. We want the questions, we'll help you. We want everyone to do a good job. We want this to really work well for everyone, whether it's a little I bit of exercise. Ben, Ben's previous life was being a personal trainer, so. I don't nobody even knows that. Every, yeah. everybody, forget, everybody forgets that I was a Marine and they forget that too. Right. All right, so let's swing that around. There's Mary. So, there you go, take that. All right. I'm gonna hop in. Okay. Chill out. All right. So actually what we can do really quickly is um, we had just two quick questions. I'm gonna grab my phone here. Um, that we had gotten prior to starting today. So we can um, address those really quickly. Uh, and then you can ask any questions along the way. Oh, Mike Browning says, I could use a good workout routine for our trainer 12. We, there is a previous video where we did actually like a little circuit. Hold on. We have to, I can't even do it right now. Um, and that is a really yeah. great option, um, which we can kind of talk about that in just one minute. Um, really quickly, we'll just answer these two quick questions that we got prior. Um, so the first question is from Dan in, I'm not sure, Nebraska. What with any &E. &E. with yep. the drought in the west we were warned to expect water rationing this summer this could include prohibiting filling and topping off swimming pools what are best practices for maintaining swim spas during the warm months if the water level drops below minimum depth and we can't add water One yep ben's gonna okay. go for that is that pointed at me yes it is okay so first this is not a pool 
and our level of evaporation should be less. So things you can do to minimize evaporation are gonna to be to keep your cover on as often as possible. If you're not in use, only take the cover off when in use. That's gonna that's gonna save some of that. Also, try to minimize splashing. You know, kids thrashing and splashing will eject a bunch of water. Uh, so try to keep that to a minimum. This is not a pool. This is a swim spa or a hot tub. It's a little different. It's portable. It's not the same thing as a pool when they do that. You know, no car washing, no pool, you know, topping off and all of that. Your worst case scenario, if it's just absolutely impossible to even turn the hose on, I mean, you're talking about in a swim spa or a hot tub needing, you know, a, an inch or two of water. It's not a whole lot. You should be okay doing that. But if you keep the temperature down, keep splashing to a minimum and cover closed as often as possible, it's just like when uh, there's two scenarios where this works, where when you were kids and the power went off and your mom told you not to open the fridge, don't open the cover unless you really, really need to. And then, you know, as quick as possible, that also works for the winter time uh, when you have no power. Okay, the, that rule applies. So that's that's it. So just minimize the, the evaporation that way. Okay? The second question is from Rachel in New York, and this may be like a specific service issue, um, but maybe you can give a couple of recommendation, recommendations. Um, she's had a Challenger 15 deep for a year, and, and she's experienced erratic current speeds while swimming. Um, she is getting some help with her dealer who's even replaced the pumps but sometimes she has no resistance and she can go nowhere or then suddenly she'll get blasted to the back um, she's tried all different things with the pumps but any suggestions hmm. so anytime we have something like that if you can imagine the amount of, of you know emails and, and texts and phone calls we get regarding difficulties in use, whether it's the unit messing up, whether it's the person not quite understanding exactly how it works, because they're complicated for a while. So we've seen a lot of different scenarios. Um, I would I always want a video of the event taking place. Now, if it's sporadic like that, I realize that will be nearly impossible to catch uh, on video. But if you could catch it on video, that would be amazing. We always want to see that. Um, things that come to mind is usually something silly and not something, you know, significant. Because with the challengers, if those pumps all of a sudden weren't working and the, and the VSPs failed, you'd have an error code uh, on the control panel. So that's sort of a question I've got is if there's an error code, uh, the challenger is, is more technically, it's more like a car. You know, if something happens with the car, the lights come on in the dash. Same thing, sort of. Okay, it's not quite as fancy as a car, but we're getting there. So is someone playing with the diverter valves? Um, you know, questions that come to mind. It, first, simple stuff. Is, is, uh, is there something, you know, someone messing with you with the diverter valves? Is, is pump one timing out at the 15 minute mark because you turned it on back here at the, the main panel as opposed to the workout panel? Um, is there something wrong with the circuit board uh, acting and it's just cutting out power for a second? But I think you would hear that uh, if the power was cut off for a second or, or or is the pad level? We've seen situations where the pad is not level and the water behaves differently. Mm -hmm. Or if you're too far in front of that current, it could feel like there's no water there and then the water starts steering around you and then doing, you know, kind of a swirly and there's all these different things. So, you know, we really like a video trying to really isolate what's causing it. Um, if you have new VS, if you have new pumps and, and, and VSPs, it's probably not that. It's probably something weird that, that's just kind of slipping past everybody. Something mm -hmm. simple, you know, that keep it simple thing. That's, that's, those are my thoughts on that. I, I, I need a little bit more information. Was there a code? Because if there was a code, that's a whole different conversation. That's a hardcore surface issue versus, you know, is someone reaching over and messing with you and turning the diverter off? You know, I, I, don't, I know that someone I know would gladly do that to someone else. <laughs> um. Can you do a really quick demonstration? I realize we don't have our bars in right now, but just to show someone how to get the bars off. We don't have we don't have our bars in right now because we're trying to be good about taking them in and out <laughs> when we're not using them. I'm I'm not. I don't. I'm not. A, I'm not a great rule follower. I'm trying to be, but I'm <laughs> not. Okay. So so you have the the button that latches in. So you have that round spot that pushes in. So to put the the bar in is very easy. You just pop it in and it clicks. To release it, 
and sometimes these can be, you know, you might need a little screwdriver to grab that, that button. You can see that moving back and forth. So what you'll do is if you push that, it releases that right out. Okay, but that goes towards the hot tub seats and releases. And okay. I will tell you, there may be like, sometimes there's like glue or some kind of, oh, they can definitely you know, be, be in, in that spot sure, that sure. like Ben was suggesting, maybe like a screwdriver just to kind of loosen it up a yep. little bit. But that does, it's a little release button and yep. you push it. And ours, ours moves really freely here, yep. but you know, I've certainly seen plenty of them that didn't want to move and you're trying to figure out if you push in and, it, and, it, and it's very logical yep. to, to not understand how that works without having without knowing which way it goes right. and when it when it's sort of frozen in that position uh, and you've never done it before I no would it's not it it's not a push in yeah, like it, you don't it push it it's a slide if you're facing it you're gonna slide it to your left yep. at least that's how it okay. is on our swim spa so, so I'll do a real yeah. A real close up. I gotta make sure that microphone doesn't go in the water. Yeah. So that button just goes out. Can you see that? It goes out. And, and then you pull the. Yep. So when you when you push it over to the left, you're pushing over that way, and then it just pops right out. There you go. Yeah. She said, "Sweet, thank you." Oh, you're welcome. Yep. All right. That's an easy one. And so don't, and don't leave them inside. <laughs> All right, because Susan is tired of setting us row bars. Because we left them in there for two years, and the bands broke, and you know they were sitting in the water for two years. Right. So talk about a wet test. Hey, they're yeah. durable, but don't leave them in. Rinse them off. It'll be perfect. Yeah. All right. All right. So let's. I, here's what I want to do. You give me that. We're gonna grill Mary here. Oh boy. All right. So Mary, take us through a typical behaved week of nutrition and exercise and how you use the swim spot for that versus sure. regular dry land cardio how do you split it up because some people only use the swim spot yeah. some people do both you know how do you how do you, let's talk about your entire schedule yeah what do you have so one of the things um that i personally struggle with sometimes is just feeling like doing exercise uh, <laughs> lack of motivation it. yeah and, and I realize that, it, and it's not motivation that's gonna get you to do it. You actually have to just, for me, I have to like just get started. Once I get started, it's fine. Um, but the, the process of getting started can sometimes be a struggle. So for me, mixing things up um, helps, you know, to get to feel like I wanna do something. <laughs> and, and mind you, I have been literally doing exercise and food, you know, being strict with my food uh, since I was like in eighth grade. So, I mean, this is something that has literally been a lifetime, a uh, lifetime process. So, and there are ebbs and flows. Sure. For sure. For sure. You yeah. know? That might be the understatement of the century. Right. And, and you know what? good days and bad days and I really appreciate anyone who says that um, even just going for a walk for around the block you know if you're just Something. having one of those days just to yep. get things moving and sometimes sometimes I literally will just go for start for a walk um, for in my where I live I live in a condo and I have to walk to get the mail and sometimes as I'm walking to get the mail, I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna walk to the end of the street. Um, and then as I'm walking up, I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna go to the end of that street. And it ends up like, I, as I once I get started, it's just all about sure. getting started. Bust out a mile. So um, our schedule is very funky um, <laughs> because we typically, we work every day at home, basically from home or from, from this warehouse. Um, but we travel on the weekends, so it could be, you know, usually it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. If we're flying somewhere, it could be coming home on Monday. So during the week, for me, it's really important to try to stay on schedule, try to really get some movement days in, um, get to the gym to do some resistance training, 
for me that's really important. I don't love that. I actually prefer to do cardio than lift weights, but... Um, so, so how to Gloria Jean. Hi, Gloria Jean. But as, as Ben said, we are all getting older and the importance of resistance training as we age is for sure. very important. And I, you know, I, my parents come here every day practically to work out as well and they are in their 80s. So for oh, me, they, it's, it's they a, are a true. Yeah. And, and they, they just remind me, not um, verbally, but just their actions remind me of how important it is to really stay moving and to, you know, really work on being strong and being, having good balance and all of those things. So anyway, for me, I wake up in the morning, um, I like my quiet time in the morning, and I have some coffee, uh, I play a, a Spanish game every morning, just because I practice my Spanish, and I usually read a little bit, and then I come to the warehouse so that I can meet Ben, so uh, we go to the gym at that time. This is during the week. And I, we go to the gym, we do different body parts each day of the weekdays, and then we come back here. And basically, as Ben showed you, we have a pretty good array of cardio equipment. So I kind of just- It's really getting impressive. I just, it really depends on what I'm in the mood for. Well, that's the best part about having, right. you know, the swim spa, having, you know, everything that we have sure and i and again we are in a very unique situation if you don't have access to equipment like this or you don't go to the gym just go for a walk outside if you have a swim spa go for a walk against the current or just even just move your bot like do some stretching in the swim spa sometimes that just feels really good um to just kind of get in I personally like a little bit of warmer water um, because if it's cooler, I don't even want to get in. It's that whole process of getting wet and the cold is not pleasant to me. And so sometimes, <laughs> so I like it, like I do, I just kind of mix it up. Some days I feel like just sitting on the recumbent bike and either listening to a book or listening to music and I kind of just sit there and not think about anything. Other times I want to work a little bit harder get a good sweat on and I'll either do a gentle run or I'll get on that step stepper machine and that, you know, allows me to work really hard. And other times I just want to get in the water and either do a gentle swim or do some, do some stretching in the water. Uh, and that is another option as well. And I will say that a lot of times at the end, at the end of our workout morning, will get in the swim spa just to kind of sit and relax. And now that we have the opportunity to have real hot tubs and we'll even have one wet and running, I'm really looking forward to that. And I, again, <laughs> this is a real privilege and it's a well, real Well, now, because now, now your parents are back from Florida, so we have right. to lower this temperature. Right. So she, you left a little of that out. Sure. You made it sound like you didn't want to get in your swim spa, Mary. No. I, it's always at, at, wonderful. At 91 or 92, which seems really warm, Mary but prefers if you're, right, warmer. Right, you're doing more relaxing <laughs> and kind of settling down. But right. And and all you know, a lot. Honestly, that exercise time is is me time. I really try to turn off my phone or at least you know turn it to silent and unless it's an emergency, really not answer it. Um, so it's a little bit of self-care as well to kind of, it just kind of clears sure. my brain. It allows me to um, just just have some time to kind of decompress. Right and food-wise, I'm just overly, and I wouldn't recommend being overly, but just very conscious of what I eat. And also, um, you know, there are times where it's important to have moderation and, you know, enjoy a family meal out or uh, we are actually getting to go to some very special show coming up for work and we're going to go to some really fun places and enjoy the people that we're with and, you know, that's important too. 
So um, for me, finding that balance is not always easy, but um, that's that's my goal usually during the week is to, you know, during the weekday, it's important to have, you know, good fruits and veggies and whole grains and, and some good protein. And if every once in a while we get to have a really special treat, that's, that's important too. So there's a good example of what it's like when you have really good habits. And then there's me. <laughs> oh, you, ooh, I just, there he is. <laughs> Look at him. What, what's going so on? now me, I crave like cookies and cake and, and crap all the time. So it's not easy for me. I struggle with that. And so if you're feeling that way, you're not alone. And it's just a matter of having, you know, maybe the exercise do as often as you you know, you should so that you combat that. And, and this is, you know, again, we realize that we are super lucky to have access to, you know, the swim spa or all this equipment and a gym is a half a mile down the road and our schedule allows for that or, you know, but we have created that schedule to allow for that. And again, you only get this one life guys, you only get this one body and we need to take care of them. And, and, and that's a scary thing because there's a lot of things that we can't control that have nothing to do, you could make all the best decisions and have all the best habits. Like Mary has good habits. I want to have bad habits. Um, she wants to have good habits. It's a different thing. You know, I want cookies all the time. And um, my mother is responsible for that, as she'll tell you, but we don't blame her for that because they're so good. And uh, it's more of a thank you. So it's just a matter of, of having some balance, which we are not great at, and uh, we don't wish for people to do the things that we necessarily do all the time. You want to take good care of yourself, and that means you know, you, you need some resistance training, whether you're at the gym or you're using your swim spa and you're using your dumbbells. Uh, you know, and I realize you can't get them right now, but a lot of you already have them, and you can get them on Amazon. Or your rowing kit and making the decision to get in there and do something, do something to take care of yourself. Your body will thank you. Your family will thank you. And we want to be around as long as we possibly can and, and in great shape. Mary's parents are a super good, Mary's kissing the dog. Mary's parents are a super just great example of what we should all be striving for. They're, you know, they're 80 and then just in amazing shape. In fact, they're, it's like embarrassing because, you know, Mary never goes out at night, doesn't go party and doesn't, go, <laughs> and they're never home. <laughs> they're, they're, they have to text her when they're coming home so that she's not worried about them. It's, it's, they're, they're like social butterflies. It's hilarious. But the whole reason that they don't care about what time it is, they don't feel that stuff, they've never stopped moving. And that's the moral of what I'm saying here. Yeah. You cannot stop moving. We know this is true. We, when, when people, you know, in, in aging, when we stop moving, that's when things turn south. We've all seen it. We've all seen it a hundred times. We all know someone who stopped doing that stuff. So, you know, you know what I would love to do? I would love to do like a fitness challenge, mm. like a 90 day fitness challenge. That would be amazing. Susan, we, we need to talk about that. That would be so much fun where we sort of dictate and give a basic plan and, and do that for 90 days. That would be pretty spectacular. Look at this dog. <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? One thing that I want to say, just um, I'm going to brag on my parents again, but they they have a lot of friends, and it's their tough. friends are all like around the same age, if not older. Maybe some are a little bit younger, but they all are active, and I think yep. that that yep. helps them all to stay young. And they all, you know, take care. Of, they try to take care of themselves. <laughs> And all of that. So I think that's all. I think that's all part of it. Whoops. He fell down the stairs. <laughs> you Bad okay? Zen. You okay, big boy? Nobody's listening to us when yeah. he's in there. All right. And you Melanie know Harris. Let's do the 90-day challenge. I think it's a great idea. That would be fun. Oh, let's see. All right, Master Spa's marketing team. Let's come up with something. I know Kim is up for it. Uh, Jan says, hi from uh, Jan in Maryland. I have had my spa for almost a year now. Got a doctor's script and used it as a tax deduction. I have to, it's, it's doing the thing where I can't. Oh. Maybe Mary's finger. I gotta get, I gotta, uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. I can't, Jan, I can't read the, the bottom of it. It won't let me scroll down there and see the rest of the, 
comment. I can't do it. Maybe Mary can. She's got a little finger. Let me try. Hi. Oh, when COVID started taking my ability to you move to away, way. we built a structure around it so I would still use it in the winter. I have it at 98 degrees. Awesome. Or no, no, I'm sorry, 93 degrees now, and we'll cool it down in the summer. I'm sorry, this is like right in my face. Um, I can open. I can open the screen doors. I try to work out four to five days a week, mostly for flexibility. I have bad arthritis. Looking for more info on equipment to change things up that is still gentle. There yeah. is a really great kit on Amazon. I just, I think I just looked up aquatic exercise equipment and they have row they have sorry dumbbells that are, are a little bit more gentle than the ones that used to come with the master spots kit there's also a dumbbell and there's also ankle fins and the, the h2 exercise book has all different levels of exercises and you can mix things up from there and that you, you can look at the beginner exercises and that can be really helpful for you. I, I love your setup, that's amazing. And I give you a lot of credit for working out all those days, awesome. All right, let's see. Oh, geez. Chris Hoops. Chris. I hope that's the way you say your last name. <laughs> Ask him. I think he's there. Oh, see now it's doing it to me. That thing is impossible yeah. for me. Chris swims three times a week, fitness training, rowing, dumbbells, and bands two times a week. That's cool. Perfect. And Perfect. I need to get my dry workouts. Man, life, life scheduling is hard, you guys. Everyone here yeah. knows. No one here is Back a child. Back in the mix, yeah. You know what I mean? No one's here as a child. You do what you can right. all the time, and at least you're doing something. You're going to have ebbs and flows, like Mary said, when... You know, you can't always get them all in there. Do the best you can. But five workouts a week in the swim spot, that's amazing. Yeah. That's freaking awesome. You know when I use the swim... Is it on me or you? Uh, it is on you now. You know when I use the swim spot the most? When I'm beat up. So it, when, when, when we're running a lot or when we're biking a lot or training a lot, then I just... My legs are just shot. And then you get in the water and you're able to run in place. It's absolutely It is fantastic. not how you say his last name. Well, hopefully when we meet you in person... How do you uh, say it? Yeah, you can tell us how to say it the right way. Can, can... <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, where can I get a copy of the workout book? I didn't get one with my trainer 15 deep. Hmm. Um, Is it still on me? Yes. Okay. Anna, if you send a message in to the Facebook, uh, just put your address and we'll make sure that we get you one, for sure. Uh, just send a mi message into Facebook, like a DM, a direct message on Facebook, Master Spas. All right, so we do, we've had some people saying that they're interested in the 90 day challenge. So we will work on that for sure. Everybody send we Susan a message. We have to get the powers that be to agree, so. And that means Susan. <laughs> and we'll also, um, we'll, we're going to be giving an update. Our schedule has been super crazy. Our travel has been a little bit nutty. Um, so we have not scheduled the three visits yet for the winners, but we definitely will be doing that. And we'll give you a heads up on uh, when we'll be doing those Facebook Live for sure. In the meantime, if there aren't any other questions, um, do you have anything else that you can say? Um, you know, I really just to kind of recap all that everyone here knows they're supposed to be doing something if it's 20 minutes you know 15 minutes a day in the swim spot gentle walking against the current you know we take for granted often when we don't have an injury so anyone uh, you guys remember when I tore my bicep and then I did all the rehab in the swim spot with the dumbbells unbelievable asset to have in a very difficult situation and that's not a very difficult situation compared to knee replacements double knee replacements hips and all that stuff so 
I don't care whether it's 10 minutes, 15 yeah. minutes a day. If it's, if it's, you know, if, if we could ever do a 90 day challenge, that would be really fun, I think. But think about something like this. If you did 10 minutes a day in the swim stall, let's say you are, you, you have an injury, your back is in trouble and you just have, you know, which is, doesn't lead to not having, you know, weight concerns because it, we all need to move. So it, it tends to snowball all those things when you get stuck in that corner like that. The swim spa is, is the equalizer. The water is the margin for error. The water saves us. You know, I've been so messed up from training that I could barely, you know, I couldn't even run at all. My legs were just said, no, no more. You get in the water and you're able to do it. Mm -hmm. So that's the whole thing. Everyone here knows that. Get in there, do 10 minutes, you know, three to five days this week. And next week, do 12 minutes, three to five days. And make, you know, I'm not saying eat cake and pie every meal. Minimize that stuff and, and eat fresh fruit and, and eat, you know, lean proteins and eat some fish. Eat that stuff and make good choices and get in here and move. And you will watch your body change and your health improve. And, and if you're going to the doctor and getting blood work, those numbers will change. Blood sugar, cholesterol, blood pressure. That stuff changes really fast with a couple of habit changes. Okay, does that make sense? So I guess we really want to see, We, you know, I, I'll tell a, a story that I don't think I've ever mentioned on here. Those of you, some of you know, you know, years ago I owned a gym. That's how uh, Mary and I met. She was training at our gym and then we started doing triathlon and got into it. So that's just where it, it got crazy. So years ago, I was having dinner with our CEO, Bob, and you know, we were talking about the future and talking about the gym industry and talking about this. And you know, for, for someone at that level to give me advice, um, and he was, he was so cautious not to try to steer what I was, you know, what, where I was headed. He was just offering you know, his insight. And to have someone at that level, you know, take the time to share some insight is a miracle. This guy is, he is a beautiful human being and he truly, truly is. And he's done, I've seen him do things that were amazing and uh, he is kind, truly kind and amazing person. And we're lucky to have him. So, you know, in, in one of the things I loved the fitness industry because I love to teach fitness. I love to, to bring out the best in others and even at the expense of, of ourselves sometimes, but that was the best part. And you know, his, his, his opinion was, well, you know, we get to do that on a global level and that's really what it is. And that's how all this started. The love of fitness is what started all of this. And it's no one would have ever seen that. And I think including uh, uncle Bob would have ever guessed how far this whole thing yeah. would have come with all of this relationship between us and master and, and the, the triathlon and, and fitness in general. So, you know, we really want to see you guys take good care of yourselves and, and eat well, not perfect all the time. I'm not saying don't have cocktails in there, you know, have some wine and some cocktails, a couple beers. It's fine. It's the moderation that we all need. And everyone here knows it. Everyone who's sitting there going, geez, you know what? If I just had a little bit of moderation, I would be fine. And, and that goes for all of us. Exercise, eat right, resistance training, cardio training. It's perfect and you don't have to do a lot to see big results and big life changes and mobility changes and you know the, the freedom to move like a you know youth like movement it's fantastic so that's really the gist of this is to kind of light a fire in everybody let's do this it's it's getting to be warm now weather is breaking summertime is coming you should be feeling good i know in the northeast we are thrilled with some yeah. nice sunny days because it has been a long uh, cold winter and it still some days feels like winter here so let's go it's time to go and that goes for all of us we always i don't care who you are anyone can use a a, a kick in the pants for motivation and that includes us and uh, a 90 day a 90 day transformation uh contest that'd be a nice fun kick in the pants little yeah. little, little group setting some some love some teaching Everybody get some good results, have some fun with it. Little special Facebook private page for everyone to complain about all the hard crap we gave them to do. Awesome. I don't mind being the bad guy. <laughs> I guess that's it. So we'll talk to Susan about that. Yeah. That's a fun idea. Okay, so we uh, will be back in two weeks on Wednesday, May 25th. And uh, we will see everybody then.
thank you guys and uh, have a great night.